I would like to see uh, more depth in, in Cleveland and in the world, really, because um, I think our generation has like a lot of width, but no depth. depth. So like, um, um, width is like, or like collecting music and collecting things now. So like, you, know, you can go to a kid's iPod, and I'm sure you saw somebody's iPod before. They have 2,000 artists, but you click on the artist and there's maybe one song that's downloaded under each artist, you know what I mean? So it's just all kind of like, fast food, you know, and nobody knows where this artist grew up, like who their engineer is, like where they record their album, you know, all these like facts, this, this depth, like, you know, you know this band, but do you really, do you really know them like, in depth? Are they really, have they really impacted your life for the long term? Or do you just listen to one of their songs and you know, they want the next But when you hear a song from me or something like that, like that, that's a more honest portrayal that you can get from me than any like interview or just, you know, hanging out or something like that. Cause, um, because yeah, I feel, uh, I feel most comfortable when I'm on stage or, or making music. Uh, I make music um, to, well, I mean, I guess a, a few reasons, but you know, one, I think the most important is to like challenge the perception of the African American in the millennial age. And, um, so like, you know, rap is obviously a dominant form of music for, for black people right now. And even for the world, not even just black people, but any person, you know, rap is super popular. So. Um, I just, I just have a driving force to like bring musicianship back to um, popular culture. For this album, it was like about quantum physics and, and stuff like that, science fiction and uh, space travel and stuff like that. So, took a, took a big inspiration from that type of literature. That was really good time. So, quantum mechanics is something I've been into since like I got into my, my senior year of high school or something. I was like the only black kid in my high school like listening to uh, like not rap, so um, like metal and like, you know, rock music and like, loud rock music and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it was, it was, it was like weird, I guess, <laughs> growing up because, you know, I mean, kids like make fun of you for listening to different types of music and stuff like that, but I never cared, you know, like I always, because I was a musician anyway and you can't, you can't like practice your guitar along with like a rap song, you know. If you want to start guitar today or something like that, like you, you don't even have to pay anybody to teach you lessons. You can just go on YouTube and, and get lessons for free, and even better lessons than you would even give with a teacher because you can type in specifically what you want to know. I mean, what skills you want to know, like you know. But that's why I never took lessons coming up because I could never get out of it with exactly what I wanted. You know, it just always started somewhere. It was always according to the teacher's curriculum or something like that. Um, but now you can pick and choose, and you can go wherever you. Oh, I mean, you don't have to take classes for anything. You know, you know how to shoot a movie on YouTube, you know. So I think it should definitely be uh, utilized like, to its maximum.